Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is your host, Lucas Dantas. Today, I'm going to share something that's truly exciting with you guys because I have integrated my Instagram profile with ChatGPT and I'll share with you step-by-step -step on how I have done this. So right now, what I wanted to do is stop this video right now. I don't know where you're watching. Is from a TV, from a desktop, or from a mobile. I wanted to stop this video. I wanted to go to my Instagram profile, Lucas Dantas 1910 It's written right here on the below part of this video. Send me a DM written Dantas GPT. It's written right here. Dantas GPT to my DM and you will see how I have integrated my profile with ChatGPT. You will see the messages, automated responses. And by looking at this, you should get a hint of how this is powerful for companies. You can automate a whole process here without having someone to manually send messages. You can build lists. You can run, for example, an engagement campaign and everyone that comments you can start a conversation, you can collect that information automatically, and I want to create more videos about ManyChat, and that's what I'm going to do from now on, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to show you how I have integrated my profile with ChatGPT, and from there, you can even get ideas on how you can do something similar in a way that makes sense for your business. To have this automation done, you're going to need three solutions. First solution is ManyChat. ManyChat is a tool that automates messages on WhatsApp, Instagram, Telegram, Facebook. You can also send emails. There's a lot of things you can automate here. It also has like growth tools for engagement. You can create sequence of messages. You can create broadcasts so you can send messages to a list on WhatsApp, Telegram, Instagram. So these are all things you can do within this tool. And you probably are wondering right now, is this paid? Yes, of course it is. There are two versions. There's a $15 version called Marketing Automation and there's a $99 per month version called Inbox. So you need to be using either one of these versions to be able to create this integration. The second subscription you need, the second account you need is Make. Make used to be known as Integromat and they have gone through this rebranding process. So now they have new logo, new look, but you can still access Integromat from Make's website. And this one, you can use the free version, okay? You can use the free version. The only problem is that you have a limit of 1,000 operations, which means that you can only run this automation 1,000 times per month. After that, your account will be paused, but then after your billing cycle renew, you can run the automation again for 1,000 times. So that's the limitation of the free version. And the last is an OpenAI paid account. Yes, you need to have an OpenAI paid account. You're going to platform.openai.com, and then you're gonna click on personal, you can go to manage account, and this is where you're going to see you can then go to billing since i have already enabled my paid account you're going to see a button right here where you can enable your paid account but you need to add a payment method first and the good thing about this is that you can control how much you spend you see that i have set the limit for ten dollars in this month we are on may 22nd and i have spent five dollars and 61 cents so far so it's all good right so these are all the three accounts that you're going to need so let's start this right now okay so the first thing that we're going to do here is to create the fields that are going to be sent to ChatGPT. We need to send information to ChatGPT. We need to capture the information and bring it back. So we need two custom fields to do that. One to handle the prompt and one to handle the response. On ManyChat, we're gonna click on settings. We're going to click on fields. In here, we're gonna create prompt number one, type text. You don't need to type in a description, only if you want to. And then we're going to add prompt number two, also text field right here. So we have this two fields ready and then we can go to automation because this is where we're going to start creating ours. We're going to click on new flow. You see that on your left side, ManyChat tries to make it easier for you to create your automation. So it gives you some information here so you can start with. But I think it's way easier to start from scratch. So that's where I clicked. And when you click on new trigger, you can see all the triggers that you can use to run your automation. So you can trigger an automation every time someone clicks on your Facebook ad, for example, every time someone comments on your post, every time someone sends a direct message with a keyword, and you can see for different applications, they have different triggers. So for this one, what we want to do is every time someone sends me a direct message with a specific keyword on Instagram. So here, what we're going to do is mini chat. Okay. This is just a test. So 
every time someone sends me a message with a keyword many chat something is gonna happen what's gonna happen we're going to choose that right now we are going to send a message as next step so we're gonna say hello and i can even make this more customizing humanize to add the person's first name hello this is an integration with chat gpt what i like about many chat is that it gives you all these features that you can make this automation be as human as possible so here i can add a delay of three seconds and then i can add another text here and i can do would you like to try it? and then i can add a button here and then i'm gonna do yes i'm gonna create one for no there we go and now we're going to choose the next step of our integration the next step what's going to be our next step if they say yes i'm gonna tell them to ask me something so i'm gonna do okay chat gpt is ready for you okay and i'm gonna add another one i'm gonna add another delay i'm gonna do a two second and i'm gonna add this another one here ask me anything you want to know and this is the important part so here i'm just sending a message i'm waiting two seconds but here is where i want to save the prompt so i'm gonna click on the free keyboard input and then on save response to a custom field i'm gonna choose prompt number one and you can even set parameters you can see here for how long many chat is going to keep the user input usually i do no longer than two hours i do no longer than that you can keep this for longer that's up to you you choose how you want to make this so now that i am collecting prompt number one here i also need to find a scenario for no i have one for yes one for no so if they say no i'm just gonna send a message and say okay then and that's it and end of workflow i don't have to add the next step after here because I, I only have two scenarios they can either do yes or no or not reply if they don't reply nothing happens so now that's when we're going to activate the integration so we're gonna click on actions in here we are going to find trigger integra map okay and you see i have all these web hooks here and what i want to do is create a new one so i have added this integra map but now i need to do something on make it's important for you to keep all this screen open because we're going to be jumping back and forth between these applications so if you have them all open it's going to save a lot of time and it's going to make it a lot easier for you to follow this tutorial with me so now i'm make i clicked on scenarios and now i'm gonna create a new scenario so i'm gonna click on plus here i'm gonna look for many chat i have many chat right here in the trigger it's watch incoming data you see it right here that this is going to be triggered immediately as data arrive and we're going to add a hook i'm going to give a name to this youtube video number two okay and here we're going to add one here too so we're going to do youtube video number two connection and the access token you're going to go back to many chat we're going to click on settings. We're going to go all the way here, API, and copy this. Okay. After copying this, we're going to click here, save, and we have our connection done, done, and done. There we go. Now that we have ManyChat connected, we need to connect OpenAI account with this as well. So we're going to create a new module, OpenAI. There we go. And for actions, we're going to choose create a completion. So we have to choose create a completion. We are going to add a new connection here. So OpenAI, I'm going to do YouTube video number two. And now I need the API key. To get the API key, I need to go to OpenAI. I need to go to API keys and I need to create a new API. YouTube video number two, create secret key. And I'm copying this. You can only see this API key once, okay? So make sure you have copied and then you can come back here, paste. And you don't have to type in anything or organization ID. It will automatically pop up. There we go. So here we have the connection. We have the create prompt completion. On model, we're going to choose Text da Vinci 003 because this is the most stable model we have at this point. Until the moment of this video, I don't know when you're watching this, it's from one year from now, two years from now. This is the most stable and most reliable model we have at this moment. So the next one is prompt. Prompt is what you send to ChatGPT. You know that ChatGPT is a conversational tool and it works with prompt and responses. So you send something and you get something back. So we need to send something to ChatGPT in order to get the response. So the prompt is where we're going to be using in this case. So we need to save this because we need to add the integration on Integromat. So I'm going to add anything here. Okay, just so I can save this. Now I'm gonna go back to main chat. I'm gonna go automation, click here. Now on these actions, I should be able to see right there YouTube video number two, and I can publish this. This is not ready because we need to run the pipes, you know? So if I come here right now, 
and I try to add the fields. You see that I don't have them. So I need to run the pipes. So I'm going to run once, grab my phone. I'm going to send a message. So now I'm going to ask, where is Uruguay? So I have asked, where is Uruguay? And I can see it right here that it ran. You see the three dots here? And I can see the output here by going choices. And it's right here. So Uruguay is a country located in the southeastern region of South America. You see? So he gave me the response. And now I can come here and find all the fields that I need. See? So I have all these custom fields. I'm going to choose prompt number one. This is the one that I wanted to send to ChatGPT. And I want you to pay attention on this. Click on advanced settings because this is important. Max tokens. So let's pay attention on max tokens because this is the length of the responses you will get. So if you leave as default 16, you will have only short answers. What I use by default, it's 512. You can play around with all these other options. You can see here temperature, for example. You can do higher values means the model will take more risks. 0 0.9 for more creative applications. You can play around with this as much as you want. And based on the answers you're getting uh, on the output, you will judge if it's the best thing or not. So there we go. Okay. Now we are going to get the response back from ChatGPT. So we add another module. We click on many chat and we use set a custom field. And here, of course, we're going to choose our connection. Video number two, subscriber ID. We can get this information from right here. And the field ID, it's going to show you the list of all the custom fields you have added on ManyChat. Prompt number two, and now field value. The field value, you will find it right here. You see, if I collapse all, I see these two options. And if I expand all, I see open AI. I'm going to click on choices, click on text, and then OK. So after that, now that's saved, you have just completed the most most difficult part. This is the most difficult part, okay? So you can pop a champagne, I'm having water. We have just gone through the most difficult part. Of course, don't forget to enable your flow, but that's it, guys. That's the most difficult part. We're gonna go back now to many chat and we're going to edit this right here. So we already send the information to ChatGPT. So now we need to bring this answer back. But there's one thing. Sometimes ChatGPT can take 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, or even 25 seconds to generate a response. So we need to give them time. And this tool will allow us to do this. So we we'll click on next step. I'm going to add a smart delay. The minimum that ManyChat allows you to put a smart delay is for 10 seconds. But just to be safe, we're going to choose 20 seconds. Okay. 20 seconds. And then we're going to bring the response back by adding another step, Instagram. And we can just get the response from prompt number two right here. So this is basically what it's doing. Let me publish this. There we go. So now I'm going to go to my Instagram profile. I'm going to send the message again many chat that's what we have chose as the trigger it's hello this is an integration with chat gpt would you like to try yes ask me anything you want to know where is brazil so i have asked where is brazil it's going to take 20 seconds until we get this response back brazil is in south america that's it no more than that we don't need anything more than that but that's all that's where the the flow ends we can make this better right i think we can and that's where i'm going to show you here as well so we have all this steps right we can make this a loop but to create the loop we need to clear the fields because if i just connect this with this i'm going to be sending chat dpt the same prompt number one and i'm gonna reply the same prompt number two so we need to remove this we need to create a step where we're going to clear all the fields we're going to use action and then there's clear contact custom field we're going to clear prompt number one we can create another action we're going to clear prompt number two and that's it we have this here we are clearing the field and now we can send the step right back to where it was to the beginning right here and there we go we have our loop and let's publish and let's test that right now so again many chat yes we'd like to try ask me anything explain what is radiation explain what is radiation okay so I have asked you to explain what's radiation it's going to wait 20 seconds and I get the response back radiation is energy that comes from sources such as atomic nucleus and travels through space or some kind kind of material. Types of radiation include gamma rays, x-rays, ultraviolet rays, and radio waves. Radiation is used in a variety of ways such as in medical imaging, to sterilize food, to create artificial light, to generate electricity. Radiation has also been linked to a variety of adverse effects such as cancer and birth defects if exposure is too high. So it gave me a complete answer and it's prompting me for more. So it's telling me again, okay, 
ChatGPT is ready for you. Ask me anything you want to know. So I can keep asking stuff. So who is Lionel Messi? So now I'm sending to ChatGPT, who is Lionel Messi? I hope he doesn't say Cristiano Ronaldo is better than Messi. Okay, thinking, thinking, Harry, here we go. Lionel Messi is an Argentine professional soccer player who played for Barcelona and the Argentina national team. He is widely considered to be one of the greatest soccer players of all time. Messi has won record six Ballon d'Or awards and record six European Golden Shoe awards. He has scored over 700 senior career goals for club and country. You see, so this is done, guys. We have created this and hopefully with me showing you how to do it, you get inspiration on how you can apply this for your business. You can do a lot of things with this, guys. If you found this tutorial useful, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and consider becoming a member of the channel so you can get access to exclusive content. Also, drop your questions or thoughts in the comment section below. I want to hear from you guys. So that's it. See you on the next one.